Uh, what do you look for in an actor or an actress? What qualities? Basically, kasi ang kagandaan sa independent filmmaking, mas nauuna yung istorya. So, uh -huh. we, we look for actors, actors who really fit the part. So, we, we make them audition for the parts, tsaka tulad ng mainstream uh, na nauuna yung artista bago pa yung istorya. So, we make sure na sobrang fit sila to the part, to the, the role. And, ayun, kasi mas malaki, mas marawang din yung Amy Freedom with it. Uh, independent film making, so mas maganda yung mga ano, kukuha ng mga artist and role for them. And yung assessment, Roman, anong status ng independent, independent film making sa Pilipinas? Hindi natin masasabi, sobrang successful na siya sa tao, pero the resurgence of independent, independent film making through digital cinema, malaki na yung tulong kasi mas nabigyan ng chance yung mas maraming film makers to tell their story. So, uh, it's, it's steady, steadily being its mark ulit dito. Kasi independent film making dati, Uh, medyo namatay ko ba ng sobrang mahal ng film or ng celluloid. So ngayon, uh, mas nagkaroon ng mga chance yung iba't ibang mga writers, writers to do their stuff and tell their story on screen. The big screen for that matter. Ano naman, what, what kind do you have? Do you receive any support from the government or uh, from... Uh... Uh, well, actually, yung sa amin, we, we got our support from an, uh, business Uh, entity, Cinema One Originals, ABS-CBN. So, mga private lahat, halos? Private, private. Hanggang ngayon, private pa rin. Pero, may mga nag-offer din naman ng mga uh, sponsorships from the government agencies like Film Development Council of the Philippines, tsaka yung mm -hmm. National Council for Culture and the Arts. So, yun. So, meron namang konting support, pero syempre, so, sobrang konting pa rin money to, to do your own film. Eh. So, they give partial support for the films. And, Actually, okay lang at steadily lumalaki na lumalaki at lumalaki yung need for, for, for the independent films. Mas lalo nagbibigay sila ng mas malaking grants and mas maraming grants para sa mga uh, uh, new uh, and upcoming filmmakers. Can you give me para ano average budget for a uh, for a independent film na well, actually, low budget at lang? Yung budget it, it really boils down to the concept na ginawa. With uh, us sa Cinema One Originals, it's an open book naman na they just one million pesos grant for for to be a film. And while uh, yung si uh, Malaya naman gives five hundred thousand pesos for each film and then a grant. So it, it really depends on the story na ginawa and minsan. Pwede ka magagawa with only a minimum 300,000 and it could go as much as 2 million at yung medyo hindi lang may dita kami. May pinopromote kanyang sang mga Hollywood, mga Hollywood producers. No? They will be able to buy siguro yung mga short films that magkakasya sa mga mobile phones, mga 5-10 uh, minutes. Actually, uh, medyo, medyo open pa yung playing field with that, with uh, the movie shows or the mobile movies, mobile films. Pero hindi ko wala pa akong alam na nag-venture. No, wala pa kasi para ano para bago lang ito from the from mga Hollywood producers they will be able to I, I don't know if financing now they will buy already made products na mga 5 to 10 minutes lang so ito lang like a short film so just uh, with, with the advent of ano the internet nga in YouTube and all so it's all accessible to any part of the world yung mga ginagawang short films yung ginagawang mga iba-ibang trailers to promote the full length may samahan ba ng mga kwan, independent filmmakers na formal uh, association? Uh, actually, mayroong formal association na uh, pino o pero hindi siya 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 establish pa. Mm -hmm. Mayroon pa rin na, katulad namin, hindi pa rin kami kasama doon sa... Parang may kasi mayroong cooperative yung filmmaker, independent filmmakers ngayon. Sila yung uh, may bumupo nung Robin Hood Indy City ngayon. Uh -huh. So lahat ng kinikita doon, it goes to that, to that cause. And I think they're helping. Uh, step by step to make the industry more open to all of the people who uh, still want better. So, and your projection, mga 5 years, 10 years from the projection about independent filmmaking sa Philippines? Uh, actually, independent filmmaking has never stopped. It, it has just got there, uh, its resurgence. It's good about the late 90s and early 2000s. So, uh, actually, we're expecting more more independent films, more cool stories. Nakapagulit yung mga stuff na. <laughs> yung more cool stories kasi uh, with the advent of ano, easy technology ngayon, mas madali na for the basic filmmakers to share their stories. So actually, it's going to be better.
How about yung mga documentaries na yung plano kayo mag-produce na mga gano'n? Uh, documentaries is a whole new art eh. So, medyo, medyo uh, malaki yung, malaki rin talaga yung mga uh, uh, na ibibigay na katupanghalan kapag documentaries. So, well, basically, oo oh, naman, hindi rin naman tinitigil yung mga news and threat affairs natin from the networks to do their own documentaries. Pero ang school of independent documentaries, hindi ko pa rin alam kung paano yung nagiging atake nila ngayon with, with their art with their uh, telling of their stories kasi wala pa akong alam na bibigyan ng grants for that. Uh, regarding this upcut, uh, sino nakaisip na upcut ang maging title yan? Well, actually, nangyari kasi yan dun sa say na yung pagkakaalala namin na halos lahat ng tao mayroong kwentong upcut. Eh. Kumuha ka pala ng upcut, kumasa ka, o hindi ka magkumasa, o hindi ka talaga kumuha dahil feeling mo you're not good enough. So, Uh, from there, doon namin naisip na oh, very universal yung upcut sa bawat uh, Pilipino right. na dumaan sa kanya in each life. So, But you are not really intending to put a mistake around the upcut? Oh well, basically yes. Kasi kapag sinabi mong upcut, uh, marami ka nang maiisip eh. Maraming kwento, maraming storya. So gusto rin namin iangat siya. Kasi syempre kapag magawa ng independent films, meron pa rin chance to, to go abroad, go somewhere. So at least hindi ka namin na ang malilalabas natin sa ibang bansa kung gano'ng ka importante yung upkat sa kapataang Pilipino. So what does it symbolize yung upkat uh, in your mind? Upkat symbolizes dreams. Kumbaga, dreams. Yung dreams. Ginawa namin backdrop ng, ng istorya namin na, uh, na nakabase sa pangarap ng tatlong kapataang Pilipino or Pilipinas. And, ayun, yung upkat ang kumbaga parang iniisip din ang susi sa lahat ng pangarap na gusto nilang matupad para sa rinig nila sa future. I see. So, anong, mga, anong mga universities or any other institutions sa Pilipinas na pwede kang mag-enroll if you want to get involved in filmmaking? Well, I'm uh, being involved in filmmaking. Well, yung may formal training talaga. Well, may formal training naman talaga. With, uh, where, where, syempre, where? Yung, yung art na yung art ng digital filmmaking has its own technical side eh. So, and if you don't know the technical side, well, mahihirapan ka to make your film uh, viewable and make your film be uh, watched by and loved by uh, more viewers. So, kailangan mo rin matutunan yung technical side niya. And lahat naman halos ng schools at saka with a little pursigi sa sarili mo, then you, you should know the technical side of it. And syempre, the creative side would be galing sa na, galing na sa'yo, galing sa puso mo, galing sa uh, imahinasyon mo. So, imahinasyon mo na yung limit doon. Kung, kung independent film ka, how much is your commercial objective? Kasi how much, anong percent ang iyong artistic objective if you are producing an independent film? Um, kailangan mo, kasi dito mo naman doon na kailangan mo mag, mag uh, level. Kasi, depende rin sa kung ano yung gusto mong ibigay na storya. Kasi may mga storya na gusto mo talaga ikwento dahil gusto mong malaman nila. Or pwede gusto mong uh, ikwento yung storya ngayon dahil expression of yourself. So, it's an art form. Kahit anong anong art form, merong uh, different bounds na kailangan mo itimpla. Kung gusto mo talaga na magkaroon ng maraming viewers for that, well, syempre kailangan mo mag-adjust sa taste ng, ng mga viewers mo. And syempre, kasama na rin doon yung educating, educating the Filipino masses. What digital filmmaking or what filmmaking per se is all about. And, and ayun, syempre, minsan bibigay mo yung mga gusto nila, minsan kailangan mo na silang i-educate sa kung ano yung dapat nilang malaman sa mundong ginagalawa nila. Yeah, I see. So, thank you, Roman. Salamat, uh, salamat, maraming uh, salamat.